So, quick question. If I was to go back in time knowing what I know now, would I get the exact coffee maker? And the answer is no, I would not get that coffee maker. hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're very much welcome i hope you guys are doing fantastic i'm doing so good as well so today's video as you can see i'm in the kitchen our kitchen is open plan that's why you can see the living room over there so i'm in the kitchen so i've started this series so i'm cleaning all the appliances i have in my home as i talk about them and i'll tell you whether it's worth getting them or not because some of them trust me it's not even worth getting them it's not worth it so so today's episode we are gonna be cleaning my coffee maker because i haven't used it in a while it's collected a lot of dust and let's clean it as we talk about it and i tell you is it worth buying it or not so let's get started with the video remember the last time i used it and as you can see it's collected so much dust it's oh god it's so filthy so let's clean this up real nice and and just show you how it works and then i will tell you if it's worth getting it or not so the only things you can detach from the coffee maker is the glass jug and the filter so we're gonna wash that first before we know how to deal with the rest of the coffee maker to be honest it's absolutely filthy all of it needs to be washed but you also need to be careful not to tamper with anything electrical that will make it not work so yeah this filter i just don't know what to do about it it's so discolored no matter how you scrub it that brown color won't come off but i guess as long as it's clean that's okay but i need to know how to remove this stain from the filter For the rest of the coffee maker i'm gonna try to wash wherever it's washable without tampering with the electricals so the top part i'm pretty sure i can tamper with the electricals so i'm gonna wash the top part and also i'm gonna wash the tank because i don't think since we've got it like in two years ago yeah i don't think i've ever washed the tank so I'm gonna need to wash the tank very well and yeah, I hope I don't tamper with anything. So that's the tank. It's pretty hard to wash. It needs like a certain kind of brush because it's hard for you to put your whole hand in there. But I'm just gonna try my best to wash it as much as I can. I 
as for the parts i couldn't use water i'm just going to wipe down with a damp towel and yeah that's all so i'm wiping down the parts that i couldn't rinse with water So lastly, I'm gonna use a kitchen towel to dry the coffee maker and literally that's it. That's it. Our coffee maker is super clean now. Now that our coffee maker is clean, I'm gonna show you how it works. So let's make some coffee. So this is the coffee we are going to use. This is the coffee we've been using now. It's Java House and it's medium roast, medium grind, 100% Arabica coffee. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I don't like this as much as Domans. I like Domans more because it has this strong scent it's just amazing but this one is also not bad it has like a scent but it's not as strong as Domans. that's what i'm gonna say according to my experience so this is our coffee maker and it's quite clean if you compare it to how it was before so this is how it is it's a ram tones and this is how it comes so you have a jug here and this is the power button i don't know if you can see it let me show you yeah this is the power so you switch it on you switch it off and here is where we have the tank this is where you put your water and it's also where we have the filter where you put your coffee yeah so let's get started let me show you how it works most people get confused where the tank is i also did when i first got it so this is the tank you see there's a filter here and this is the tank the end this is where you put your water i want you to see where i'm actually putting my water this is where the tank is at the end so don't get confused So you put your water you can put as much as you want as long as you don't exceed the limit so as you can see this is the tank this is where my water is at and this is the maximum so don't exceed the maximum yeah yeah so this is where my water is at so let's put on our coffee this is the coffee this is the coffee i already have it here it's the one i've showed you so you're gonna use this one so you open your coffee maker we've already put in our water now it's time to add the coffee
Now we just need to power on our coffee maker and you just press here just like that you can see it's on and we just wait basically that's it So if I was to go back in time, knowing what I know now, would I still get the exact coffee maker that we got those two years ago? And the answer is no. To be honest, I would not get the same coffee maker. I would save a little bit more money and get a better coffee maker. Or a coffee maker that doesn't just make black coffee. Yeah. So I'd want a coffee maker with more functions. And let me show you what I have in mind. So yeah, I would not advise you to get this coffee maker, just save a little bit more money and get a better one. Yeah, so don't rush into buying this coffee maker because it's the trend or whatever. So in the long run, I wish we didn't buy this and you are just a little bit more patient. And we bought a better coffee maker, but we know better now. So. I would advise you if you are planning on buying a coffee maker buy one that has a little bit more functions than just black coffee because you get tired real fast it's just gonna accumulate dust you're gonna forget about it and why why do that so just save your money and buy a better coffee maker and yeah that's what i would say so that's it guys that's it for this episode if you want to see this kind of content please subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video bye